is seeking, how may they receive from thee? But right now, Lord, let this old man die. Let your flesh die. But let your spirit speak. And as they speak, Lord, we want to thank you right now for everything. And Lord, you are so good. Thank you for the prayer and mercy. Thank you for making it up to dangerous highways. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Today I want to bring before you today that my topic is God is love. What I want to speak to you from coming out of the first John, the fourth chapter, starting at verse seven, six and seven and eight. Because see, the God we serve is love. And by him being in love, and he is love, and he created love, what are we supposed to do? And see, if you have not love, I'm talking about the sinner man, sinner woman, the saved, the unsaved, the believers, you got to have love because God got love for them. Did not the sinner man wake up this morning just like the righteous man? So God is love. See, the reason why God gave me this topic because he said some in your mix really not having the love that they should have for my people. You can say amen out or hit the door. Amen. And even free. Because I'm going to preach this. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, see, I told you I'm not going to slack up. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing. We left an old building, we left old ways. We come in a new building, we coming with new ways. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Because God is love. We got a long way to go, saints. Amen. Hello, somebody. It's not all about the money. It's not all about this. It's all about salvation. Amen. It's about people getting saved and people coming through that door. Hello, somebody. To be Amen. delivered and set free. Amen. God have gave me an extra anointing. God shared with me that I can lay hands on the people that need kidneys and their, their kidneys will start functioning. Yeah. I had that vision this morning. He told me. But see, I can't make you and I'm not going to make you come to the altar. Amen. If you want to be delivered, God said I can lay hands on you. You can be delivered from all this old junk and mess that's going on in your life. Amen. You are single for a reason. You married for a reason. Y'all ain't talking up Amen. in here. Amen. But if you're single, you got to obtain until you find your mate or mate find you. Y'all ain't talking. Amen. See, I study the word and read the word. The word says this. A man shall leave his father and mother home and cleave to a wife. Hello, somebody. Amen. Y'all ain't gonna like me after this day. That's all right. Come on. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. Yes. As long as I got King Jesus on my side. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. But see, we, 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 we've been, we been in, a, in, a, in, a, in a false nation. Now, I'm not telling you doctors not good for us. I'm just sharing with you that if I cut my arm, I'm going to have to go to the hospital. Amen. That God heal it up before I go to the hospital. Amen. But I want to show you what the Word says. The Word of God says in verse 6, we are, we are a God. He that knoweth God hear us. And then he said, He that is not of God hear not us. Then he said, Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. See, if you don't, if you know God, you're gonna obey God. You're gonna follow God. You're gonna thank God. You're going to tell God, thank you for everything. You're going to be tried by the fire. Yes, sir. You're going to go through temptation. Yes, sir. You're going to be tested. Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. So you're just not going to sit in a seat with God and not be tested. Yes, come on now. You're not going to sit in that seat. And the enemy is sitting on the side, and he's, he, he's nothing but a hypocrite, and he, he challenged God with you. And when he go to God, he said, I guarantee you, you're going to do this if you allow that. Now, now this is a heart. If God come to one of you all, not God, Satan, 
Satan's enemy. And offer you $800 million if you just serve him every day. When you take that, y'all ain't going to answer that one. No. Well, see, you got to be very careful what you answer. Because the first day you're going to say that flesh going to say, 800 million, man, I ain't got to worry about nothing no more. But all I got to do is just tell people that ain't no God. But you really see, God is of love. And see, the devil will tempt you with all kind of devices. Yes, he will. He'll tempt you. Did not he tempt Christ in chapter 4 of Matthew? He showed him all the, the earth. All the nation. He said, I give all this unto thee. He'll tempt you and say what he can give you. He can't give you nothing but death. Amen. Hello, somebody. Y'all can look at me front of y'all you want. Amen. I'm standing up high now. I ain't got to come down to the flow, y'all. <laughs> you got to come down to the flow. <laughs> See, you got to come up to me now. I, 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 got, my, I got my back up. <laughs> Hello, somebody. By the time you hit that step, you're going to fall. <laughs> y'all ain't talking. See, God knew exactly what he was doing when he brought, they brought me in this house. Come on. See, I done looked down and talk all kind of talk, but it's going to be a God. Hello, somebody. Yeah. And see, that's why we got to be very careful what we are choosing in the land. You think the enemy have to offer me all kind of millions and thousands? You think the enemy have to offer me, go on and buy that lotto ticket. Man, you buy five of them and that's your, that's your million. I oh, mean, I ain't going over there buying no lotto ticket. If God wants me to be a millionaire, which I'm already a millionaire. See, y'all looking at me funny now. Don't be calling me telling you want a loan. Because you ain't getting me now. Hello, somebody. See, when I step my foot on the other side and say, Lord, I am a sinner. Save me, deliver me, and set me free. I became into the royal family. So anything the royal family have, that's Jesus Christ. That's the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I can get it too. Amen. See, I'm already a millionaire. I'm just waiting to go on home and into my mansion. Amen. Because see, if God make me a millionaire, millionaire on this earth, I have more people. I have cars lined up from here to New York coming to the house. Because of greed. Because of selfishness. If God is of love, all you got to do is serve God, walk with God, live for God, denounce the devil, and you will receive your, your profit. Yes, but people don't want to do that. Because he said, he said, it's the spirit of air. See, the spirit of air, I just told you what the spirit of air is. He'll offer you all kind of devices to come out of Christ. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. And when you come out of Christ, see, then it's just like you are already cursed. What do I look like accepting $800 million and then I'm going to hell? Come on. What profits a man to gain all this here and lose his soul? Amen. What profits us? And when I say man, I'm talking about man and female. Then he went on to say in verse 7, and this is it here. Beloved, that's you all. Let us love one another. We got a problem with that. We got a big problem. In the church, out of the church, around the church, under the church, in the community, we got a big problem with that one. And the reason why I said we have a big problem with that one, for us to love one another, for love is of God. Hello, somebody. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth, knoweth of God. Hello, somebody. Amen. See, when you say that you love God, and you hate the people he created, or you hate your neighbor, or you hate your brother and sister in the church, you're alive and truth ain't in you. Come on. Hello, somebody. Amen. And you can go home and say, Bitch, you call us a bunch of liars. Well, go home, tell whatever you want to say, then that's between you and God. Because if you can't get along right here in this land, and in this house, or in this church, or in this community, then you ain't going to make it in, saints. Come on now. We, let's not fool ourselves. I got to love everybody. I ain't even got to love my enemy. Yeah. I got to love all them ones that's talking against me. I got to love them ones that blaspheming and saying all kind of things about my name. Come on, somebody. Amen. He, uh, he always think he's something. Come on. Yes, I am something. I'm going to tell you why I'm something. I gave up all that sin and shame. I gave up all this old turmoil. I gave up all this running. I gave up all that smoking drug. I gave up all that drinking liquor. I gave up all that chasing women. See, you all don't understand. When you give up something, God can work with you. Yes, but if you hold on to what is in you, God can't work 
with you. And that's why a lot of us that can't be worked with because we don't want to give up what happened 10 years ago. We don't want to give up what happened two years ago. We don't even want to give up what happened yesterday. you think you can be you, but the spirit of error will use you. Yeah. Pretending. You better stop all that pretending because God's going to show you up this year. Yes, yes. Come on now. Right. See, if you ain't real, just stay in your, stay in your lane. That's right. But if God have anointed you, man, thank you, Holy Ghost. I was born in 1955. Amen. I got saved in 1981. I got baptized in 1985. I became a pastor in 1999. And I asked God for all the curriculums. The fruit of the Spirit. The baptism of the Holy Ghost. And don't think I'm dumb and stupid. He shows me. Ain't nobody calling me. And you can ask my wife. I don't accept calls. So don't look at when I come across the pulpit and the word of God hitting you. Somebody don't call me. Because I don't accept calls. So y'all can get rid of that. No calls come to Bishop Robinson. And if you don't believe it, I leave all my telephone calls. Not my mama. She, I call her every day, three, four times. <laughs> Y'all ain't talking. <laughs> Hello. Amen. I call her getting up. I call her during lunchtime. I call her after lunch. I call her during the noontime and right before I go to bed. Mama, I'm going to go, but you all right? <laughs> Hello, somebody. Amen. Now, that's the woman I call. Y'all ain't talking. <laughs> so, so if you want to accuse me for calling my mama and I'm her boyfriend, well, so do it. Y'all ain't talking up in here. Amen. See, you got to understand, God do his choosing. He said, if God choose you, he's going to anoint you. That's right. He's going to send you forward. He's going to have you to do what does say the Lord. And you got to love everybody. Come on now. Yes, I, I don't love the sin, but I love the soul. Come on now. Y'all listen to me now. Yeah, yeah. I don't love the sin. Y'all ain't talking. Come on now. But I love the soul. The Father, He's love those that are not in sin. That's in darkness. That's in ungodliness. Come on, somebody. Amen. But we are not their judge. Hello, somebody. Come on now. Not from the pulpit all the way back out through that door and wherever that end at. We can't be judging people. Come on now. We can't be telling me because, see, if you really check the mirror and you look at the mirror and look and see who in that mirror and ask, I, thank you, ouch, ask God about you. Come on now. Before you go ask God about somebody else. Amen. And I do that. Come on, somebody. That's right. Before I counsel, before I preach, I ask God, I, I want to know what's in John. But what's causing John some issue? What's causing John some problem? See, a lot of bishops and pastors and preachers might not do that. I can't judge them. That's they, they will with God. But what I'm saying is, God said we're supposed to love one another. That's right. You know I'm going to love her because she's my wife. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. She cook for me. Come on, she get on me. Come on, somebody. Amen. She tell me, John, that's wrong now. <laughs> And I look at her and I say, well, okay, it's wrong. I go up in the room and get on on Western. Then God said, you need to turn that television off. She just told you what's wrong. <laughs> See, a lot of us don't want to obey our, our, our beloved one. That means and women. Means you don't want to obey them women when them women telling you they right. <laughs> Ladies, you don't want to obey them men when they telling you, you, you know they right. <laughs> I'm tired of him. I'm going to go out and spend a hundred dollars and I says he want to talk that now. Is he then? Then when the light bill come up, you're a hundred dollars short. You know somebody. And then when you're a hundred dollars short, then the husband says, I ain't going to get nothing. Now, then you, what you went and spit that on them shoes? And then you went and got a half do. Y'all y'all ain't talking. Y'all look good now. Y'all keep doing them halves. I'm not sure. <laughs> Y'all keep them hair dudes up now. Amen. Keep your keep your appearance up. Hello, somebody. Yes. Right. Now, man ain't gonna say nothing. You got that appearance up, but if he see waist, you know, went out there and bought a pair of shoes, and you got fifty up under the bed, then he gonna bust. Come on, somebody. <laughs> hey, hello. <All> right. <laughs> Amen. God is of love. Yes. God shows us how to love one another. Amen. 
If I see my sister going down the wrong lane, I'm going to tell her I ain't going to get in her business. She says, yeah, you better be careful with him. I said, look at him. Got his hands hanging off of him. I said, why do you want somebody like that? I said, but that, that's what you want. That's between you and God. That's right. Tell hello, somebody. Yeah. Oh, the same thing about the brother. Come on. Hello, uh, What were you last night? Man, my lady wanted to go to the club. Why are you going to follow her to the club? What's in the club, y'all? Tell me now, because when I was in the club, I'm coming down now. When I was in the club, we were joking. Hello? I can swing dance. Now, I can't do too many of them dances they're doing now. But when I was in the club, I, I was getting down. I was looking and walking the floor and doing things. And the pastor just laughed at me because she knew I couldn't dance. <laughs> But swing dance and slow dance, oh, I could do that now. But see, what I'm saying is, it wasn't fitting for me. See, some things ain't fitting for you all. But people get mad when a pastor starts saying that. Because what they doing in the club now? They smoking dope, they drinking liquor, and they shooting each other. Hello? They were doing it when I was in there. Now, we'll forget Went over in Saluda, pulled up at that club in Saluda, pow, pow. I'm all down in the floor. I ain't getting down, y'all, but I had to have them to help me get up. <laughs> and for that time, I, I spent 30 minutes dying on the floor. Never went in the club. And when the, when the individual came out of the club, I cranked that, that, uh, that Chevelle, and I had it going sideways getting away from that. <laughs> I wasn't bad as you all thought I was. Salute the show, me. You come over here and you better be ready. Right. Prosperity, I didn't fool with prosperity. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The wall. They live in the country too much down there for me. <laughs> and I never would walk in a club ain't got but one door. Door in, door out. Uh -huh. Didn't have no back door. Y'all ain't talking up in here. Man. But if that's what you like, and that's what you love, because see, God is a love. God will not even interfere with you with that. He'll give you a warning. Yes, he will. He, he'll still yet show you love. Yes, I don't care how long you've been on this earth, God still yet to show you love. God will still yet bring you out of whatever you've been in. That's right. All you have to do is repent, ask God for forgiveness, and be sincere in the heart. And, and be sincere that God can see the love in your heart and watch God start blessing. Yes, sir. And don't pick up homeboy that went and pan down here. Yeah, if he only knew where that sloping came from, he'll pull them pants up. But hello, somebody. That's right. But if, if he want to continue to wear them pants down there, then go on. Where am I down there? Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. I ain't got nothing because when you say something to them, they go to cussing. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I'll whoop your behind, huh? Okay. All right. You gonna whoop this old man behind you? Yeah, you you right. You gonna whoop this old man? You gonna whoop me? Yeah. Okay. But let me get on out your way. But I'm watching him as I'm packing up out of there. I ain't turning my back on no sinner. I'm not turning my back on somebody that's in the world. Come on, somebody. Amen. And somebody gonna say it, old man? I'm gonna whoop you behind. You think I'm gonna turn my back on him like I'm gold? Hello, God give us common sense and spiritual sense. Yes, sir. Hello, somebody. Now, you know, you say, I, I ain't going to fight. Let me tell y'all something. Let me come back down. <laughs> I got slapped in the military. Young boy slapped me, a white boy. He slapped me because I was a Christian. And he wanted to see whether I was going to turn the other cheek. And I looked at him. He got right. I said, if you do that, you're not going to win the next one. I said, now this one was on the Lord. I said, that next one, I'm going to pick you down. I said, because the devil using you. Don't play with John. And you can slap me, and I, I, I take that first lick off of anybody sitting up in here. But that second lick, you better be very careful what you do with that second lick. Because then you're going to see what this old man can do. And I'm not threatening no one. I'm not being violent with no one. But God has gave me common sense. Amen. Hello, somebody. That's right. Because did not David defend himself when he had to fight wars? Yeah. Hello, somebody. And John Jr. going to defend himself. I'm not going to let you hurt me. Come on, somebody. Amen. You coming at me with a knife or a gun? Come on, somebody. Amen. Don't be stupid up in here talking about the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, help me. The Holy Ghost said, run. You, the Holy Ghost, help me. Run. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get to the car and on that car, get in that lock your door. Amen. That's right. 
But see, a lot of people, once I get in my car, I lock my door. <laughs> Y'all know what that means, don't you? you? You you got to have common sense and spirit sense in the land now. It's so much violence and killing in this land. It's, it's, it's pitiful. Yes, sir. Now, God loves everybody, but God ain't telling nobody to go out there and kill up 50 people. These young folk don't went crazy. 27 year old boy killed up 50 people over in New Zealand. Out there in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, a man killed up, what, 12, 13 people in the church. See? Now, you, you know, you have to look at that. These people, they never want to serve God, and a man walked in. Hello? Now, now we, the question in your mind, I can read it right now. Why well, God let that happen? He's showing you that there's people on the earth of air and there's people on the earth that serve in him. That's right. Lock your door. Amen. Hello, somebody. That's right. Lock that door. See, I can see through them glad, but I can't see through that door. And I can't see through that door. Amen. Now that door back there locked. Y'all ain't talking. Amen. Because I ain't got nowhere to see around this building. Y'all ain't talking. Amen. But the Spirit of the Lord will give you unction. And I believe that God gave them unction before that man walked in there. Even mm -hmm. down in Charleston. I really believe that. Amen. Now I'm going to give God the credit in that one. But see, we so caught up in this world just because somebody come into church. And sit down in your Bible study in the back. That ought to pick them up then. Why well, he didn't come here and sit on the front row? Hey, how you doing, man? Y'all ain't talking up in here. Amen. Somebody coming in through the door and sitting in the back. Y'all better wake up. I'm teaching and preaching. Somebody come in there and sit at the back seat of that one. You can believe me. I'm going to give a sign. I'm going to give you the sign. But it's up to you. Y'all ain't talking. Amen. See, and then they went on to say, I gotta put these on. I usually get to see real good. I have kept it. Look at verse 8. He that loveth not, no, not God. For God is love. Right. See, if you, you don't have no love in your heart for others, let me read that. Thank you. He that loveth not, no, it's not God. You don't know God. A lot of us in here probably been hurt with formal relationships. Formal men, the formal women you've been with. Man, get off that kid. It's pointing one woman to one man now. It used to be seven. It don't trip. Y'all ain't talking. Uh, yes. Say, say it again. God leave. It used to be seven women to one man. It have doubled. It's 21 women to one man now. That means 21 women are going to be fighting over you, me, and we mad. Well, she ain't doing it right. I'm going to just take her on out the way. Y'all ain't talking up in here. Amen. And then you a lazy man don't want to work and don't want to go to work and the other man working. Huh, he ain't up with old lazy son. She just needs some loving and I got the money and I got the love. Y'all ain't talking up in here. See, 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 the enemy know how to put his, his mess in the midst. But God know how to tell his man or his woman to wait upon the Lord and let the Lord bless you. But the enemy will send someone out there to tear up your home, tear up your marriage, yes, sir. tear up your, on your job. He sent them in the church now, the enemy. Yeah, yeah, come on, somebody. Y'all looking at me all great. He sends them in the church now. The old ladies that we used to call of the night, they are not out there on them street corners. Y'all can forget that now. They ain't standing out there in that cold waiting on a ride. Y'all ain't talking. Amen. Let me come down again. <laughs> preach, Pastor. You preaching now. Glory, hallelujah. That's all I got to say. Now, you can take it each way you want it, but that's what it is. That's what's going on. Yeah. And they're looking at the first lady too. They see him when the pastor passed the first lady, she's smiling. Come on, somebody. 
There it is. Got to help it wise up. See, see, you, you can get hit once. Sometimes you can get hit twice. But the third time you ought to pick up on something, brother. Yes. They help brother pastors. That on Facebook hear me preach. They ain't coming in to hear no word. Come on. Y'all ain't talking up in here. Man. They're coming in to make sure that that ring gonna get paid. Come on. Oh. That car note gonna get paid. Uh -huh. And they got food on the table, y'all. Yes. Now, now you can say whatever you want to say. Yes. You can put your offering and tithes in there all you want. But you better be praying that that pastor saved, sanctified, in Holy Ghost field, and got wisdom and knowledge of God. Yes. You got to pick up on what the devil is kind of sending in your house. Yes. See, I know he ain't coming to 87 King in Newport. Mm -hmm. Huh. He come down there and he got problems. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but he ain't stopping nobody from coming to them church though. But 87 Newport Drive, right? hello somebody. Amen. You can't come in there. Me and her got a good call coming. You come in there and tell me, I ain't got to do with the state. Don't let her get the gas up. Come on, we don't do more gas. Then hello, somebody. You got to know that you know what you're dealing with. Yes. You see, God said, I am a love. He said, John, I want you to love them and love them my, to my bosom. Yes. He said, love them and give them the word. Teach them the word. Preach to them and tell them the ups and the downs. Hello, somebody. Yes. See, a lot of people don't want to hear the ups and the downs. See, we pastors his ups and downs. Come on, somebody. They might not preach it or tell it, but we get ups and we get down. And we go in between. Come on, somebody. Right. Hello, somebody. This building didn't come for five dollars. Y'all ain't talking up in here. Right. We got things to do up in here. We got things to meet up in here. Come on, somebody. We didn't come here to sit and look at one another. We came here to labor and do what does say the Lord. And the only way we can do that, we got to keep all that other stuff, all that other mess, out of our heart, and out of our mind, and out of our soul. Come on, somebody. You got to keep all that out of there. Hello, somebody. Hello? Amen. Then when we keep those things out of there, we can do some things. Yes, sir. Everything ain't going to be good, peaches and green. No. Hello? Amen. But see, now we got a place now. Uh, see them little kids back there? You know what See, this Sunday, they in here. Guess where they're going to be next Sunday? Y'all see that thumb? Where that thumb point? See, you see, we got teachers. We got ministers. We got deacons and deaconess. Come on, somebody. Amen. They need the word, too, because they don't understand what I'm saying. But you got to teach them. But they can do what right in the church. Hello? Now, I let some things go the other night, Thursday. I didn't say nothing. I kept, because you see, y'all had the head man here. <laughs> and Bishop was just nice. But see, I used to stop some of that. If we would have kept up, Bishop would have said something. I would have. Boy, go sit down somewhere. I'm talking about right. Get, get, sit down, sit down, bro. I'm taking my belt off and cut you. Amen. If you don't want me to whoop your child, you better teach him. Amen. Hello, somebody. A uh, her. Amen. Hello. My grandkids can come and sit right there, or either in that second row or either third row, and they know the deal. Or either they sit over there to the right. They know. It's all right. Come on. <laughs> what can yeah, that come on? Y'all will hear something going on in that often and it won't be no talking neither. Pop, 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 pop. You have to teach your child to obey the word of God. Amen. Isn't you all sitting up in here obeying? Amen. Anybody running the floor and hollering and yelling while I'm preaching? Amen. Hello? Amen. So what are you saying, uh, Bishop? I'm saying you got to train up a child in which way they should go when they get old. Because we don't get them now while they right there, that side. Well, when they get to looking in your eye, they'll slap you in front of the church. Oh. Hello? Y'all yeah. 31 years, 30, 32 years old. He show up with respect. Amen. Daddy, what's wrong, man? Mama, come on and get it. See? <laughs> he don't even raise his fist. No, no. Because, and, and I'm not beating no one down. I'm just telling you, you got to make sure, and, and, and you know, like the crazy was in the house, and you know, I, I let it go. Amen. 
But I'm just telling you now. Fix it. That's all Bishop's saying. Fix it. Because I'm fixing you. It's some things the prayer lead told me. I got to get it right, brother. Y'all ain't talking. Amen. I'm 63 years old. Be 64 in July. I'm older than he is, but he told me you got to get some things right, Bishop. Hello, what I look like telling you, well, see, you run your church and I run mine. <laughs> see, see, that disrespect. Amen. Hello? God put me over this house, me and her. We tag team. Amen. I'm the pastor, she's the assistant pastor. Y'all ain't talking. Amen. If I fall off the pew and can't wake up, that, that, there you go. That's a successor. So one of them boys raised up, or one of them ones up on us raised up. Y'all ain't talking up in here. Amen. See, you can't be so selfish that just always, I, I, I just want to hear Bishop preach. I just want to hear Bishop. Then when you going to hear God? Come on. Come on now. When you going to hear God then? That's right. Because God the one chose Bishop. Come on. God did the choosing, and God sent the Bishop here. So when you going to hear God? Don't you hear God coming through the mouth of the bishop? Come on. God ain't coming down to tell you nothing. He's going to send it through me. Amen. Now, if I'm in sin, God ain't sending nothing. Come on. Now, I'm going to tell you the God that's sending, the God of air, the spirit of air, and ain't Satan, Lucifer, right. yes. the devil. Hello? Amen. See, you got to get in the spirit and know you fry the spirit by the spirit was it of God. Amen. See, the word telling us how we're supposed to love. Let me show you something else. And we're going home. Oh, we've been in for 30 minutes, so. <laughs> so we see in God's word, we must keep ourselves in the spirit of God. God's spirit do not cause us to act out at any time. We ain't supposed to act out at no time. Come on, somebody. Amen. If you say you say you say divine and Holy Ghost feel, you ain't supposed to be acting out. Amen. Hello, somebody. Yes, you might you might bite your bottom lip and bite a hole in it and go and put a bandage on it. <laughs> hello, hello. Yes, a thought might hit your mind, but repentance and Lord forgive me for that thought. That's right. We have been out on the highway passing out and, and call pay by the man throwed up his brain. <laughs> and I said, I don't believe this. Spirit of the Lord said, John, keep riding. Don't pay no attention to that. So they passed by me, throwed up his finger. And that little rag the car he had, <laughs> I could have ran him down. Ran over the car he had and beat him up, probably. But the, who, who I was proving myself to? The devil? Just call people, throw their finger up at you. Hey, you know, hey, they've been throwing fingers up. Hello? They've been saying all kind of words. Come on, somebody. That's right. But if you act to it, you you part of it. That's right. See, Jesus didn't act to it, did he? When they put him on the cross, did he act? Did he say, didn't he say, Father, forgive them, they know not what they do? Yes, he did. Hello? And you can imagine how God felt. They killed God. Because Jesus is the Lord. Yes, he is. And they didn't even want to accept him. So I know what they're going to do to John Jr. Come on, somebody. Yes, if they didn't accept the spiritual man, you think they're going to accept the fleshly man? Yes. Right. Hello, somebody. Amen. Then he said, so if you don't have love, you're not part of God's plan. That's right. For the church, but you are part of negative in the house of church of God. Jesus. See, if you ain't got the love of God in you, you're going to bring negatives in the house. Yes, it will. Hello, in your house, the church house, the job. Mm -hmm. Tell that bald man, I'm going to bust him up when he come out here. <laughs> then what you gonna do when you're in jail ain't got no job then you lose everything That's right. and that man you bust up he going home him and his family study eat come use common sense and spiritual sense right. long as that man ain't putting his hand on you words should not break us yes. oh yeah I had a young man in the military we were standing on God he was like over there and I was standing here. He ain't nothing but a nigga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're a black one too. Mm -hmm. Your mama, I said, boy. When he said something about, about the mama, I said, boy, do you want to be face down first? Uh, you, are you ready to meet your maker? Hey, hello, somebody. See, I took the black thing in the black nigga. But then he up there got ready to say about, about the mama that I came through from God. Then I stopped him then. Y'all ain't talking. Y'all don't let me go 
all the hell you want. I stopped him then. I asked him, do you want to be face down or do you want to meet your maker? Which one do you want? But then, see, see, the Lord helped me when I was in the military. Go back here, go out left here, he would have said that. Whether he black, white, blue, green, or yellow, Mama would have been coming down to the floor. John Jr., when you going to learn? Well, Mama, he said this. I don't care what he said. You should have just took it and walked. And he would have been in the hospital. I put one in the hospital. When they integrated the school, Mama, you remember that one? When you and Daddy had to come to the high school, he said something about my mama, preacher. Boom! Boom! One lick, I knocked him out. Broke his jump on. They told me to get out the school. But John Willie City was no joke. Hello? And the man they supposed to have talked to, he ran and hid. They had to talk to the vice principal. I don't know what mama and what daddy said, but they said I can come to school the next day. <laughs> yeah, hello, somebody. And from that day on, they didn't bother me. White, black, blue, green, and yellow. They said, oh, did you see? You know how black folks are. You see man rob, man. You see what rob did? Hit him with one leg and knocked him out. <laughs> he laid there, too. The mother boy, I'm come out. come on. Y'all come on, too. I got something for y'all. <laughs> hello? See, I was all in the world. Amen, amen. When you in the world, you going to do what the world does. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but when you come in Christ, yeah. you got to give up that world way. Yeah. Right. No, you can't. You can't slap nobody now. <laughs> Every time somebody did something to me, nagging in the army, it was four people come up in my vision. Don't let them. Not let them low and crystal. Man, why I got them? Mm. I had to bite my tongue. I had to bite my character, whatever y'all want to call it, or my pride, whatever it was. Because I had to take care of my family. I couldn't go back home and get no job. I wouldn't stay on no job. <laughs> yeah, hello, somebody. See, 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 I'm telling you the truth. Y'all laughing, but I'm telling you the truth. I, I leave jobs in a heartbeat because of the color. I wouldn't take nothing the light-skinned man would say. Hello, somebody. Larry, remember that? Where you going? I said, I had to go home. The man told me to go home. Larry said, John, don't got fired. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> but see, then, God saw the road I was walking and running. God sees your road. Yes. He sees your road, that guy. Yes. I don't care what we sit up here and say, he know your road. He wants you to get that thing straight with him. You ain't got to get it straight with the pastors or the bishops. You got to get this thing straight with the heavenly father, the one that got the heaven in hell. Right. Hello, somebody. Right. The one that gives you life and death. Come on, somebody. He kind of tell you that he, he care for you, he love you, he'll show you his love, but he wants you to obey and walk right. He wants other people that in your situation to come out from what they need. Right. And the only way they're going to come, you got to get that thing right. Yes, that's right. A lot of my friends, see, I can't call them friends, a lot of my associates, <laughs> when I come from Germany and I was saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, you think the first thing they didn't offer me, they offered me that John. I said, oh, 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 no, I ain't into that. No. Come on, John. No, get that away. Get that away from me. I don't want that. Hello? Come on, let's go to the club. I said, oh, we ain't going to no club. Hello? I said, I'm going down here to a Friday night service. Okay, I'm rolling with y'all. I said, I'm going to church. John, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> y'all ain't talking. I'm being real. I'm trying to show them the love of God. See, when I got in Christ, I wanted to stay in Christ. I asked Christ to give me the spirit of discernment. I asked the Lord to give me. I said, if I'm going to be a pastor, I need to know the things that a pastor's supposed to do and how he's supposed to do it and what he's supposed to do, helping people, get, laying hands on people, people getting delivered, not talk about them, time to go out your office, you calling people, talk. Uh uh, I got a confidentiality in this church. Come on. When you come to me, then it's going to stay between me, you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and Pastor Robson if you're a female. Amen. Y'all, if you're a male, then we can go on in there and have a long talk. Amen. But if you're a female, my wife's going in there, I don't want her, well, then you're going on out that door. 
Uh, hello, somebody. Amen. See, when you've been burnt one, two, and all more three times, you tell you, go on out that door. Hello, somebody. Amen. When they don't want your wife, y'all brother, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. If a woman don't want your uh, uh, husband, I'm going to say, they don't want that uh, a wife to come in and be a part of it, y'all better leave that room. Y'all looking at me funny, brother. Amen. I'm giving you hints. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Ladies, you don't need another man to come in. That's right. You don't. If you and your husband are there, why do you want this other man to come in? Y'all ain't talking. Amen. See, God kind of show us somehow to love one another. Yes. See, we can get along in the church if we love one another. Mm -hmm. If this sister hurt, the church should be hurt. Uh-oh. If this sister hurt, the church should be hurt. Y'all ain't talking. Amen. If this brother hurt. See, you all got to understand when they hurt, the church body hurts. Because they going through a little something they need help with. Y'all ain't talking up in Amen. here. But if we passing it on, just sitting there getting out of a little group talking about it, that ain't love. Amen. Come on now. That's not love. No, it is. If you are strong, heavy, tired, and off the pail in a church and you're doing well, why are we letting people's houses get taken from them? Why are we letting people's cars get taken from them and they sacrifice? Uh oh, I got it got quiet up in here now. Man. Well, what they doing with their money? That's exactly what some of y'all thought. <laughs> yeah, hello? Amen. Amen. They might be had to pay back the federal government. The federal government taking everything now. Amen. The federal government told taking your money out the bank account, they putting your house on, 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 on you know on notice for closing. Federal government don't care whether you, where you sleep. They don't care if you sleep out there on that ground. But we we got to learn the value in the things of Christ. See, that's why it's very important to be part of a good Bible-based church. And be supportive. Y'all make me proud of y'all Thursday. Oh, y'all coming up in here on Bible study. Man, I feel good. I couldn't even talk. Y'all make me feel real good. And I said, man, maybe I ought to call Bishop back next Thursday. <laughs> Hello? But in my closing, in my closing, they said, what? The Spirit of God will show you up. And also the Holy Spirit will not allow you to destroy God's anointing. Man or woman, that's in job. See, a lot of them came to destroy me in the churches that we've been in. Amen. See, I can testify. Now. But they came and they had to go. But so God saw their heart. God saw what they came in there for. Come on, man. And that's why a lot of them had to leave. See, they didn't come to help build. They come to destroy. Amen. Hello? I can tell you right now, if you don't show no love and compassion to my wife, then you definitely ain't got John on your side. Amen. I don't care who you are, male or female. When you show my wife disrespect, that's it. Y'all ain't talking up it. Amen. Amen. That was one down home show my wife disrespect. I told him, I said, that's why you got kicked out the name. Because you didn't want to follow order. I said, because if I would be the pastor up in here, I wouldn't have sent you down for 30 days. I said, you've been down for six months. But your disrespect for sex. I said, then, yeah, you need to find you another place. But you ain't going to talk to my wife that way. Y'all ain't talking up in here. Amen. She my wife, but she's a pastor. And you got to show her respect like you show for God put her in that place. Not I. Amen. But people just get all ignorant and stupid. So I had to let him go. I had to separate that brother. So see... Well, he wasn't going to be in there. And I told him, you need to back up a little bit, too. Won't you back on up now, brother? Back on up. <laughs> Hello? Amen. No, I, I, I can't knock nobody out no more. I'm weak. Because I don't want this flesh to act out. I want the spirit to act out. Amen. As long as the Holy Ghost holding me, the pastor can testify. I ain't never put my hand on a church member. I pray about it. <laughs> Next thing I know, I say, well, that's week one. I don't see him coming to the door. Week two, man, came. Week four, I know you don't laugh. Hello? See, the spirit of the Lord fighting my battles. Hello, somebody. Amen. And then, then the word goes over and over. God has shown his power through his vessel. 
Now, if God ain't showed something through you all since y'all been with me, something wrong. But the enemy still tries to break the bond of that man or that woman preaching daily as I speak. Amen. He's still trying to destroy what Pastor and I are trying to teach and preach in these churches. Boy, it ain't nothing but a family church. You see the church. Well, I, I, I asked y'all that y'all want a choir. No. Y'all ain't talking up in here. Amen. So yes, my children are going to sing. Come on, somebody. Amen. Get a note over there for me, Josh. No. There it is. <laughs> so you see, he was brought up 10 years old, he started. So don't get mad at us all our children helping us in the ministry. Amen. You are all our children, whether you believe that or not. Amen. So we're not selfish. If you want to get on the choir, all you got to do is talk to him and oh, him, them two. Mm -hmm. The drummer and, and the keyboard. I've been on the choir. Y'all were singing one Sunday, Pastor. Hey, hey, listen. Listen to what? Then you're quiet. Man, when I told y'all I, I think I got my choir, y'all stop singing. <laughs> so you see, it's fun to laugh, isn't it? But see, we got to build from the ground up. Come on, somebody. Right. Ain't nobody no higher than nobody up in here. Amen. Not even the bishop. Come on. I got to grow. Come on, somebody. Amen. So see, see, God is trying to show us. And ain't nobody coming up in here to destroy nothing because he got it all. See, I, I am I am into the will of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, to hear what he is saying to the church now. God is love. Hello? Amen. See, so many times we get caught up in this and that as pastors. I'm caught up in souls, guys. I'm born and raised right here in Newberry, South Carolina. I left this country in 1976. In 1977, I went to Germany. I tried to get my grandma and my mama to get me out of going. <laughs> my daddy said, hey, leave that boy in there. That's going to teach you. I said, oh, listen to daddy. Y'all get, get me out of here. See, I tried to get out of done. Because they were giving me discipline. Don't leave the church when you're getting disciplined. Amen. That's when you need to grow and stay in there and say, hey, that's somebody that cares. See, if God is of love, I'm, I'm of love. I don't want to see nobody leave the church. But I can't have you all up in here willy-nilly disobeying what we're saying and disobeying what we're doing. Come on, somebody. Amen. When I go on vacation, I let the church know. I'm going on vacation, but I'm going to leave my ties and all, and I send it by mail or job. Y'all ain't talking up in here. Amen. My tithe don't go on vacation. My offering don't go on vacation. Come on, somebody. Amen. <clears throat> and if I'm going to week, I'll let y'all know I'm gone. Hello? Amen. But people get upset. When I passed the line there at restoration, I stayed on. Y'all got it easy. I'm going to get on y'all. Amen. And I'm telling you in your face right here on Sunday. Amen. It's time out for that. I ain't pampering baby nobody. Amen. Restoration didn't get pampered baby. I stayed. I whooped them. I get in meetings and I tell them what they need to do. That vineyard is your labor. Get out there and bring somebody up in here. At least you passing on them flyer. Y'all ain't talking. Amen. On them jobs. There's a lot of people on your job. They got church address. And guess what? God put you there for a reason. To be, a, to be a vessel to win souls. Right. Hello? I can't come on your job talking about walking the floor talking about Jesus and Lord. You know, who are you doing? Uh, security. <laughs> y'all ain't talking. Y'all don't know what y'all got. The worst sinner that's in your job you can win by the life you live before them. That's right. When I was a captain over that security force, ask me from Monday to Thursday, we had zero hours. I mean, we never had a door open. But Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, man, it was worse. <laughs> so one weekend, I said, enough is enough. Go out with the captain. 
the lieutenant sitting up there looking behind them young girls over there in the female dorm. Him and his sergeants, one making all right, and had three dorms open and had three sergeants with him. So I was found. Oh, hey, Captain. I said, Lieutenant, why are these guys here? Well, we ain't got nothing. I said, you, you, you. I said, you go to dorm so and so, you go to dorm so and so, and you go to dorm so and so. He looked, at the, he looked at the lieutenant. I said, Lieutenant, you ain't got nothing to do with this. But I'll put you on one of them. And they went there, and, and 30 minutes later, I had all three of them started. But I called people's in. Now, why the lieutenant couldn't do it? Y'all ain't talking. I got to be the captain. How do you See, they always think that blacks don't have the knowledge and will to run nothing. God said, I'm going to make you the head and not the tail. Yeah. For three weeks, I was on a dorm. And, 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 the, and the man that was over the site came and told me, with, with the female of the dorm, said, uh, Officer Robinson, we need you uh, to come with us. They brought a uh, one to relief. He said, they put me in the car. I said, we're going to make you captain. Boy, I thought I, thought I was going to tear that seat up, nephew. I said, they were going to make me captain. And I said, okay. You see, I learned. I don't go on job. I believe I could come out to Louis Rich if I wasn't hurt. I come out. And I ain't going working on the line. I'm going to be in charge. Y'all ain't talking. If I wasn't hurt and messed up, I, I, that's my belief. Hello? Now, I did put in for Lewis Ridge when I first got back. They were talking about putting me out and all, no, I said, uh, my education and being in the military and I got a degree in this and that. No, 